Now, if you've ever had a WordPress blog for any amount of time, you've probably come up against comment spam. And what comment spam is, is when you make a blog post and you have open comments where someone can make a comment on your blog post, it's gonna get hit and it's gonna get slammed by spammers, comment spammers. And these are just some short-sighted people that think it's gonna benefit their SEO or maybe they're trying to market something in mass. It's just, it's a mess. Now you come across, I guess the reason they do it is because there's a lot of people that don't maintain their WordPress sites when they put them up and uh, it just starts to get all this spam in there. I've tried a lot of ways of getting rid of that comment spam and over, over the years and for the last month and a half I've been using a new plugin that uh, is new to me and it it eliminated all of it. I mean, in the past I'd try something and it would get rid of most of it, but not all of it. And then over time I'd get more and more spam as these spammers figured out ways around it. So this is uh, such a big problem that by default when you install WordPress, the WordPress organization actually owns a comment spam service that they put the, the plugin uh, on all default uh, WordPress installations. Now the pro it's called AskMet. Now the problem with AskMet is you'll find that it's going to put legitimate comments into uh, it's going to market as spam and those comments uh, you you won't even make it on your blog that you would actually want. So uh, anyways, uh, let's, let me walk you through what I'm using right now. Uh, if you want to install it on your blog, you'd go to plugins and then click on add new. And I'll give you the name of it. It's WP Spam Shield. Now I'm currently using this and it wiped all of my spam out. I got rid of all the other things I was using and this just wiped it all out. So uh, go ahead and type WP Spam Shield and uh, you're going to see it right here. Now it's currently um, only used on over a hundred thousand websites. That's actually pretty good for a plugin uh, to be over a hundred thousand. Heck, being over fifty thousand active installs. This is active installs, not an install um, uh, or numbers that on on non-active sites. This is what is currently being used on sites and my website makes up one of these. So anyways, uh, let's go ahead and just click on install now. Okay, and uh, I've been using this, by the way, for the last two months and I haven't gotten any complaints and I haven't gotten any spam and I have gotten plenty of legitimate comments. Uh, so I think it's uh, pretty much solved my problem. So go ahead here and click on activate plugin and then I think it's gonna, uh, let's see, uh, right here where it says settings, there's a new option that says WP Spam Shield. So go ahead and click on that. Now this plugin has a lot of settings and I'm gonna tell you that you really don't need to tweak them at all. I didn't, I looked at the settings but I didn't change anything. Uh, there is a couple things to uh, note right here if you're curious if it's blocking legitimate comments you can check this box and it will actually keep a log of what it blocked so you can just verify it okay um, and there's all kinds of things there's a blacklist a whitelist all this kind of stuff here but you know what you don't even need to tweak any of the settings because it's just going to work really good right off the bat. Now, uh, when you go into settings, there's a section here that says discussion. Uh, go there now. This are, these are the, the default comment settings that are in WordPress. So currently for me, uh, I have some of these things checked uh, right here where it says email me whenever. These are going to be your notifications, your email notifications you get from your WordPress site when someone leaves a comment. And you can decide if you want to be notified. Um, and right here you can uh, check comment must be manually approved. I usually have that checked and I don't have that checked because I'm worried that it's going to be spam. I have that checked because I want to be notified when someone leaves a comment so I can reply to that comment. If I don't hold it in, in, in moderation, um, I'm going to probably forget to give a response to whoever leaves a comment. And if you haven't been to my site, you'll look. If you leave a comment, you're going to get a response from me because I want to uh, build a community around my site. 
So you're going to have that there. So I usually have that uh, there uh, so that I know that uh, what I need to uh, put a response in. But these are your pretty much basic um, comment settings. So uh, anyways, uh, this is another plugin that I think that WordPress should kind of have in by default. More advanced uh, spam filters to prevent this comment spam. Uh, I get a little finicky sometimes if I'm getting emails uh, you know, for for like for instance, when I was getting spam and I get an email notification, those email notifications over time start to irritate me. Um, maybe I'm a little easily irritable, but uh, I don't like that kind of stuff. So um, I like to deal with spam and stuff like that uh, right away. So, anyways, that's how you will kill the common spam in your WordPress website. Yes, you made it to the end of the video, which must mean that it brought value to you. So can you go ahead and click on the thumbs up down below? That'll help me out. And if you want more videos like this, be sure to click on the subscribe button right down below me. Now, if you want to find me on the internet, I've got a special Facebook group that I set up for people just like you that want answers to their WordPress website. And that's where you can find me, interact with me, and ask me questions. So go ahead and click on the blue button down below to join that special Facebook group. Now, I never want you to leave empty handed, so I've created a free video course for you called the three steps to WordPress success in this video course you're gonna really learn how to make your website shine get the results that you want and have it really stand out from the crowd so to access that free video course go ahead and click on the link over here on the right you can also find me at wpcrafter.com make sure you check out my 60 minute website challenges those are very popular and you can find those on the website as well hey thank you so much for watching this video i make these videos just for you and i hope you watch the next one